Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I will be giving you guys five players that I think you guys should watch closely during the Washington football team's first preseason game against the Patriots and these are also all guys that I'm really excited to see play as well. Combination of, you know, super young players and some vets thrown in there too. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. I'm super close to 6,000 subscribers, so please help me get there. So let's get right into the video. The Washington football team will be facing the New England Patriots in their first preseason game on August 12th, which is tomorrow at 8 p.m. on NFL Network. I'm very excited to watch this game, and I will have a post-game reaction after the game is over tomorrow night, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But let's get into some guys that, you know, I think people should be watching super closely uh, to see, you know, how they're progressing and also guys that I'm excited to watch. So the first guy is Jamin Davis, rookie first round pick for the Washington football team. And I mean, I think Jamin Davis is one of the most, you know, he is very important for the Washington football team's defense their success this year because if he can play really well this year or even solid play at the middle linebacker position, I really think that will help take the Washington football team's defense to another level because their, you know, linebacker play last year just wasn't great, especially, you know, Bostic was decent in the run game and could get to the quarterback a little bit, but him, you know, he was somewhat of a liability in coverage and Jamin Davis, that's one of his strengths. So I'm going to be you know, watching closely how he looks, you know, in coverage. Does he miss any tackles? Also, how the, the you know, thing that's going to be the most important is, you know, he has been playing middle linebacker or they've been playing him at middle linebacker pretty much all of training camp. So let's see how he, how comfortable he looks at that middle linebacker position and, you know, how he looks as a signal caller because, I mean, they, they've been playing him there all training camp, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to start out the season there if he doesn't, you know, look great in these first few games. They could always put him at will and have Bostic at middle linebacker. But if Davis plays solid, I really think he will be the uh, starting middle linebacker for the Washington football team. And if he plays solid, like I said, I think that'll, you know, take Washington's defense to a whole nother level so super excited to see him today and see you know his athleticism because we've we haven't been able to see much from him in training camp because you know obviously the first you know week or 10 days no pads and then they put pads on for a few days but uh, I'm excited to see him in live action because we're really going to be able to see the athleticism that you know was one of the biggest reasons he got drafted. I mean, super good speed. Uh, I think under 4'4 speed, over a 40-inch vertical. I mean, that's just unheard of for a linebacker. So super excited to see what he can do this Thursday. And let's get into the next player. So the next player, another rookie. And this is Sam Cosme because I think Sam Cosme, so, you know, We've heard a lot of different things about him in camp. It started off, he was struggling a lot against Montez Sweat and Chase Young, and he started to progress every single day, got better and better and better. And then once they put the pads on, it looks like he's been really, really good for them. And he's going up against Chase Young and Montez Sweat every single day in practice, and he's looking good. But I want to see how it looks, you know, in live action against other edge rushers and let's see if he can show some consistency and I think he will get significant snaps because yes he will likely be a starter and usually in the preseason starters only get you know especially in the first game or so they get a couple of possessions and that's it but I think Cosme needs all the reps he can get and I think getting him in for a quarter plus would be ideal so I'm going to be watching um, how he plays and also want to see his athleticism on the field because that's a big part of why he was drafted in the second round his athleticism and let's see if he's able to hold his own against whatever edge rusher is going up against him because if he can be solid for us this year I mean that's going to be a huge uh, bonus to us because really we have a couple question marks on the offensive line but um, it's the main one is really at right tackle and if he can be good for us this year I think we'll have definitely an above average unit this year and maybe eventually he could transition over to left tackle next year so let's see how he looks and you know let's see if he continues to progress so the next guy I'm excited to see and you know I'm going to be watching closely is Landon Collins because he is coming off his 
off of his Achilles injury. We've heard great things from Landon Collins in camp. He's been making a few. He's made a few. He's got a few interceptions. He's made some plays at the ball. He's had a great training camp, and a lot of beat reporters are saying that he looks better than ever. And we'll see. I mean, I really was surprised that he was even, you know, practicing in training camp early on just because he tore his Achilles in late October and he came back super, super um, quick from that. So props to him. But let's see how his explosiveness looks on the field. Let's see how he looks compared to last year, because he even said himself, you know, he was lost a little bit early on in the season because he was learning the defense and just wasn't really comfortable in it. And he was starting to get comfortable the last couple games. That's what he said. And he started to play a little bit better. So let's see how he looks in this defense. And really what I'm going to be watching closely is how is that, you know, his explosiveness and his athleticism is. And, you know, let's hope that he plays well because, again, he's another guy that we didn't have really for most of the year last year. And when he was playing, he wasn't great. So if he can go back to that 2016 2017 level that will also take the defense to another level and also same thing with Matt Ionetis because he's coming back from injury as well another guy and this is a rookie that I'm excited to watch is undrafted free agent that we signed Jarrett Patterson because I really think that he has a chance to make this roster um, it's going to be hard, but we already know Antonio Gibson and J.D. McKissick are locks to make this roster as long as they're healthy. After that, I mean, it's Peyton Barber, it's Lamar Miller, and Jarrett Patterson competing for that third spot and maybe fourth spot. So um, if he has a really good preseason, the Washington football team might really have to be forced to keep him on the roster because if he looks super, super good, they might not be able to stash him on the practice squad. I want to see, you know... Um, how he looks in uh, the preseason as a pass blocker a little bit because blocking also, you know, especially for that third and possibly fourth running back spot, you know, depending on how many they keep, you really want a guy that can pass block a little bit. Um, and let's see if he can do that. Barber definitely was able to do that last year. Let's see if Patterson can do that on Thursday. And I really also want to see how he looks in the pass catching game because, I mean, they they so far in training camp and mini camp, they used him a lot more in the passing game than Patterson was used in Buffalo. So I'm going to be watching closely to see how they use him, if they use him more in the run game as a first slash second down back once, you know, Gibson and McKissick are out or if they use him more as a third down back. So going to be really interesting to see how they use Jarrett Patterson. So now last player slash, I mean, I kind of cheated here. I'm doing two players for one, but it's kind of the same thing of uh, the quarterback uh, position. Fitzpatrick and Heineke, I'm super going to be intrigued to see them. Fitzpatrick start off with him. I mean, just see how comfortable he looks in the offense. He's probably only going to play a possession or two, but let's see how he looks in the offense. Uh, hopefully he doesn't, you know, throw any interceptions, but let's, that's the biggest thing. Is he comfortable and is he gelling with the guys? We already know he has a good chemistry with, you know, McLaurin, Logan Thomas, and Humphreys. Let's see if he can distribute the ball a little bit more to, you know, maybe De'Ami Brown and some of the other guys that might that might make the team as well. And with Heineke, I mean, I want to see is, you know, what he did against the Bucks. is he that same player, you know, because in training camp he's had some good days, but he hasn't had a bunch of good days. And part of that might be because he's a type of player that needs needs actual gate like live game action to be successful. I mean a lot of his scrambling things getting out of the pocket sometimes that doesn't really happen in practice. Let's see what he looks like in an actual game and you know let's see if he can somewhat replicate what he did against the Bucks, what he did against the Panthers last season because if he can he definitely will cement himself as a backup. I already think he did because, I mean, Kyle Allen has been out for basically two weeks, and really, I don't think he has a chance to be the backup unless he comes back right away and, you know, clearly, clearly beats out Heineke, but I do not see that happen, but I want to see how Heineke looks in this offense, and, you know, I want to see who he has some chemistry with, you know, 
Um, is it Deami Brown? I've heard he's been throwing to him a lot, AGG, maybe someone else, but I'm excited to see what Heineke can do and how he's progressed from last year to this year. He added some weight, so let's see how he looks, and hopefully he can stay healthy. Some other guys that I'm excited to see slash going to be watching closely, Deami Brown, obviously, uh, he's had a great training camp, and I want to see you know if he can do that in an actual game, so definitely excited to see him. Benjamin St. Juice, I mean, I could have literally just listed all rookies but I wanted to you know vary it up a little bit but Benjamin St. Juice as well see how they use them are they going to put them on the outside are they going to you know slide them into the slot a little bit I doubt that but I want to see are they going to have a starting cornerback lineup of William Jackson and Benjamin St. Juice on the outside and Kendall Fuller in the middle we will see that'll be definitely something to be uh, something to watch also William Jackson let's see how he looks I mean there's so many different players that I'm really excited to watch um, Samus Reyes let's see if he's an actual NFL tight end I doubt it yet but let's see if he, we can see some of that talent and some of that athleticism and maybe they can stash him away on the practice squad or find a way to keep him on the roster but have him inactive like maybe IR or the pup list because maybe down the line in a couple years he can be a good player. So I want to hear the guys you guys are going to be watching closely or guys that you're excited to watch as well. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Share the video out to your friends and peace guys.